Okay, now we're going to cover what's called merge sort. Uh, this is the uh, first of the last two sorts we're going to cover. Uh, both of the last sorts are a divide and conquer strategy. They run much better than uh, O of, of n squared. Uh, the merge sort is very interesting. It's a recursive sort. And basically it starts with the original list and splits it in the two halves. And then it recursively calls uh, to solve the problem in each smaller list. In the smaller list, it then splits that into two halves. And then each of those are split into two halves. Eventually, it down, uh, gets down to where there's only one number to sort, and it says, oh, that's sorted. And then it goes through a new phase where it takes uh, all the individual sorts and returns those back to the uh, method that called them, and they're merged together. So the way the merging works, uh, it merges two numbers and gets a bigger list. And then it gets two bigger lists, and it merges those and gets a bigger list. And then it gets two bigger lists here and merges those, and it, it has the original list. So it basically is merging. Now the merge actually happens in O of n, because what it does is it has a pointer to this list and a pointer at the beginning of this list. And since they're both sorted, uh, the first number of this list will be one of those two numbers. So it figures out which one's smaller, it moves that in and then it uh, advances the pointer in this list and then it sees which is the smaller of those two numbers and move keeps moving in the smaller of the next uh, number as that goes through the two list. And so you can see the code, there's a lot of code here uh, but basically the very beginning you give it a list if the list is greater than one it will get the midpoint and then use the split operator in Python and then it calls merge sort on the left half and right half, so it, it recurses. Uh, once it's done the left half and right half, they're going to be sorted. So now the rest of this code is merging them. And it's, uh, it basically has a pointer to the list it's inserting into, which is the K pointer. And then I and J point to the left and half, right half list, and they all start out at zero. And it's looking for what's the smaller of the right and left half. And when it finds the smaller one, it moves that one from the left half into the new list it's building, or actually the original list, increments i, which is the pointer to, and then it increments i, which is the pointer to uh, the left half that was smaller. Else it does, uh, uh, inserts the right half and increments j, and it just keeps going. And then uh, if, if, if one end ends before the other, that's what this final while, when, when the, uh, it runs out of one, it just has to move the rest of the last list in. So there's a little uh, tail that has to move in here. And then when it's finally done, uh, it's, it returns. And so when it returns, it's gonna come back and, and merge in a, a, a larger list. So let's look at it run. And that's it. So you can see the, the left half, it all snapped into place just before the end, and the right half all snapped into place. And if you watch closely, you'll have smaller, small sorted lists that are coalesced into a bigger sorted list eventually till you just have the right and left half. So uh, there's an analysis here. But basically, merge sort is O of n log n. It does have one disadvantage. It uses a lot of memory. And that's because it has to make a copy of each of the halves. Uh, it's possible to write it so that uh, you can merge in place. Um, so that's, that will give you some more efficiency. Uh, but there's also a lot of steps involved. But it is, uh, is, it is the, in terms of the order of the operation, it's as fast as you can do on sorting. It happens to be n log n.